Hi, this is Database by Doug, and this is a brief introduction to SQL Server's Management Studio. It's for beginners. I'll just cover the basic UI components and a few simple tasks that you can do. So I've just connected to this, uh, or opened up SQL Server Management Studio, and the first thing that it asked me to do is connect to a server. Management Studio is a client tool. So really, its only purpose is to allow you to submit commands and inspect things that are on a server. So it's there to help you interact with a server. Uh, so there's a limited amount of things that you can do without being connected, and therefore it immediately asks you to connect to a server. Here I'm connecting to a database engine uh, it's on my local machine. I'm using Windows Authentication. You'll authenticate using the credentials that your DBA has provided to you. So after I've connected, the first thing that I see on the left here is the Object Explorer. At the top of this tree structure is the server that I'm connected to, which again is my local machine. And underneath that server, I see a number of objects in folders and I can expand and collapse each of these objects. So I'll expand the databases, we'll look at Northwind, uh, I can look at the tables, each table is a complex object that has many things in it. I'll go to columns just so that I can inspect, uh, show you what you can inspect here. So here I see all the columns and some basic attributes of those columns. And if I want to see more detail, I can double click on one of those columns and see the many attributes that apply to each of the columns. Now the other thing that I can do on the left side here in the Object Explorer is select one of these and right click on it and get a context sensitive menu that allows me to perform actions that are specific to the object I've right clicked on. So for the products table I, I right click and I'm going to use this menu item select top 1000 rows. Now what this does for me is it creates the script uh, SQL select statement that selects the top 1000 rows from the products table. It submits that script to the database server and the database server interprets the script, executes it, takes the results, packages them up, sends them back to Management Studio. Management Studio displays it down here in this grid view. So at this point we have the main components of the UI. We have the Object Explorer on the left. We have a query window at the top and this is where you will edit and submit uh, commands to the database engine. And then the results of those commands show here in the results window. And notice there's two tabs, the results. And there's also messages and that uh, is some of the information that comes back from the server with the results. So uh, at this point I'm going to back up a little and get a new query window that doesn't come from a context sensitive menu like that. So here I am in the databases or on the server and on the menu I can click on uh, new query. Now what this does is a couple of things. It's, it's basically the query window is a text editor but it's special in that it is connected to this particular server and furthermore it has as its context this database. So if I were to type a command in here, uh, when I execute that command, it's going to execute against this server. It's going to be submitted to this server. And the context for it is going to be the Northwind database. And the way I submit the command is through the execute toolbar button. Notice that I could also press F5 in order to do that. Now one of the common mistakes that I see is that when people connect with uh, a query window, sometimes the context for that query window doesn't come up as the database that they intend. And if they execute this statement, uh, they get a message like this saying that there's no products table. 
Well, that's true. There is no products table in the master database, but if you were in the Northwind database, you would find that there is a products table. Now, another thing that we may want to do is effectively have a script of commands in this query window. And if I have nothing highlighted here and I execute this script, there are actually two statements in that script. And if I look down here at the bottom, I'll find that I actually have two data sets that are returned. Uh, the top data set is from products, the bottom data set is from orders. And if I look at the messages, I actually get some uh, success messages from both of those items. Now sometimes I don't want to execute everything in my script all at once, so what I can do is highlight just the piece that I'm interested in and execute just that piece. So a couple of other niceties. Uh, th this is a, uh, a subset essentially of Visual Studio, so it has some nice features common in integrated development environments like color syntax highlighting, so the select, the keywords are blue here. Um, I can highlight portions and comment or uncomment those portions. I can highlight portions and indent, oops, indent or unindent them. So I have a few things that are normal for an IDE. Regarding the results, I also have the option of having those results come back or be returned as text. So if I click on that and execute one of my statements, notice that this comes back as text, which uh, is nice and easy to copy and paste into an editor somewhere else or into another editor window. So, in summary, this is Management Studio. It's a client tool uh, to help you interact with a server. Uh, on the left, you have the Object Explorer for inspecting and interacting with objects on that server. At the top here, we have the Query window where I can type in commands and submit them to the database engine to, uh, to be executed. And then in the bottom, I have the Results window. Thanks for watching.